Hi, my name's Dave Milton and today we're looking at magnetic rotary drives. So today we're looking at the magnetic rotary drives, uh, we're looking at the benefits of these, the part code and the operation. So we have on the table the three drives that we do. Uh, we have the MRD6, uh, which has got the 70mm flange and the 100mm shaft. Then we do the MRD91 with the 100mm um, shaft and the 34mm flange. And then we do the low cost version, which is the same as the MRD91, which is the MRD93. And this comes without the knurled top cap with the index markings on it. So what's the advantage of having a magnetic rotary drive over a bellows drive? Well on the table we've got the little RD93 here with the bellows. Um, as you can see to get your rotation the shaft is bent inside and the bellows follows the path of this bend and as you rotate this gives you the movement. Um, the problem with this is you can load this um, if you turn this too hard and this is uh, fixed inside to something where it won't turn, you can to put too much load on it, you can damage it. Also, the worst part of this is if the bellows leaks, of course. If it leaks, then you're going to have to change it. On the magnetic rotary drive, uh, this one here, uh, the reason this is much better is because there is a, an envelope inside that covers the whole of the magnet assembly. So there is no way that this can leak to atmosphere. So you've got a set of magnets on the outside and you've got a set of magnets on the core of the inside of the shaft. And the um, connection between the two, the magnetic connection, gives you a rotation. Uh, there is also another advantage, as I mentioned on this version, where you've got the shaft which is bent going to the top. If you overload this, you can damage the shaft. On the magnetic version, because this is just covered by magnets, uh, this will actually cog over to the next set of magnets. So you physically can't overload the drive at all. So just talking about the breakaway torque, on these ones it's 0.5 newton meters and on this one it's 4 newton meters. Uh, this one will do 500 rpm and these two will do 1000 rpm. So this one here, which is the MRD6, is a direct replacement for our RD6 which has the bellows inside. So if you want to get rid of your bellows, you can use this as a direct replacement as this has got a 100mm shaft with the 70mm flange. This will also replace the RD7 as well. Uh, the only thing with the RD7 is the shaft length is 256 but we can extend the shaft if required. On this one here, which is the MRD91, this is a direct replacement for the RD91. This one here, which we call the MRD93, isn't a direct replacement for the RD93 because of the shaft length. It's just a low-cost version of the MRD91. So these three drives here will give you very long life. Uh, they're bakeable to 250, they're very smooth to operate and there's absolutely zero backlash on them. Uh, the vacuum enclosure is machined out of a single piece of 316 stainless steel. So the risk of a leak on these is absolutely zero. The ones on the table are obviously manual but they can be motorised. So these two options here come with a motorised option. Also there is a V-groove in both of these so if you wish, you can fit your own motor to this using a, a V-belt. So today was a very quick overview on the magnetic rotary drives. Um, we've just looked at the part codes and the advantages of these. So if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.